Joe Biden will soon be on his way here to Nashville for the final debate. It'll be the first time we've seen the Democratic nominee since Sunday. But is that the right strategy? I want to talk to Ohio Congressman and Biden surrogate Tim Ryan. Wonderful to have you, Congressman. Thank you so much. So the Thanks vice president you. has been prepping for this debate for the last few days. Do you think he is ready? Oh, no question. I think it's going to be a lot better now with the microphone situation. He's going to be able to actually explain his positions around preserving Medicare and Social Security and the whole Build Back Better plan, which I think a lot of Americans are going to be very excited about, about bringing manufacturing back, focus, focusing on making things in America again. I think it's going to be good. And he's going to have an opportunity to actually get that message out. So we're, we're psyched up and ready to go for this one. So you mentioned the economy. I did want to pull this up. We had the new Fox poll last night. And in the battleground states, I know you're, of course, there from Ohio, um, on the economy, who do you trust better to handle it, um, Biden versus Trump? And in your state, um, Trump definitely is up ahead, 52 to 41 percent, tied in Michigan. Um, in Pennsylvania, Trump's up by five, and in Wisconsin, up by seven. Um, is there something that the vice president can do tonight to try to knock President Trump's numbers down a bit? Well, I think just continue. His message here in Ohio has been, look, we need to build back better. Uh, working class people were struggling even before coronavirus. How do we do things that are going to bring manufacturing back? We're going to build electric vehicles, build charging stations, build batteries. These are huge investments that are going to create millions of jobs in the United States. And by all accounts, Biden has a great plan that all of the economists and analysts are saying will create but he really hasn't millions been able and millions to make a of jobs. Dent. He really hasn't been able to make a dent in the president's numbers on the economy so far. Well, I've seen polls that, that have had him neck and neck, too. I mean, you're talking about a couple polls there. But I've seen polls that, that have, have him neck and neck. And here's the kicker. We're, this economy is going nowhere until you get the virus under control. And I think Joe Biden's numbers around who would better that point handle tonight. the virus, uh, uh, he has a huge lead against Trump. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe he has some advantage there, but you're not getting to the economy till you take care of the virus. And that's why Biden's doing well in so many of these polls. Congressman, we know that President Trump is going to bring up, even if the moderator doesn't, this, uh, these new developments in regards to Hunter Biden's emails, and he will try to paint Joe Biden as a corrupt person, a corrupt politician, and th say that the American people deserve answers. Do you think that Joe Biden will provide any answers on this? So far, the strategy seems to have been to dismiss this whole issue out of hand. Well, it's been dismissed by two Republican-led Senate committees. So this is going nowhere. I think it just shows that, you know, the president needs to shake this race up in some way, and he's going to say whatever he has to say. But if you're, if you're going back to a, a laptop that was left somewhere that we don't even really know who, who it was, know who it was uh, or whose it was, uh, you're really in the last 10, 11, 12 days of a campaign for president. You're really uh, stretching to try to make something happen there. People know Joe Biden. They know he's not corrupt. Uh, he's been in office. He was the poorest senator when he came out of the Senate. Uh, you know, it, so he, they know who he is. That's well, I think, I think the that's probably also why the president on. will ask. Yeah. The well, I just will, think the I, president I, 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 the pre needs to focus, focus on what he's going to mm -hmm. do for the American people and stop trying to bring up all these. Uh, corruption charges. We could bring up a bunch of corruption charges too, but Joe Biden well, is going to talk about what he can do for the Well, Democrats have accused President Trump people. of all sorts of things. Yeah, they've accused him of all sorts of things for a while. Let me ask you just one last question, though, because I do think this is important, not just for uh, the people of Ohio, but all across this country. Where are you on this COVID relief bill? Would you like to see a deal get done before the election? I would. I think we need to get a deal done I immediately, but it can't be a blank check to the administration, and everyone needs to be included in it. You can't just include small businesses and leave out people who are unemployed. You can't do just unemployed and leave out small businesses. We're all Americans. But do you think we Nancy Pelosi right has now. played this wrong? Do you think that the Speaker has played this wrong and dragged it on way too long when you had some Republicans and even the President saying that they'd be willing to make a deal? Well, the president has been all over the board on this thing. Depends on the day, depends on the tweet. But I think we'll take his last uh, our, offer our at two point two trillion. <laughs> well, if it's two point two trillion and it's going to everybody and it's it's in it, every dollar stays in its lane, then I think we should make that deal. But let's be honest: the the last two versions that have come 
uh, that they were talking about during the negotiations were basically blank checks to the administration that they could spend how they see fit. That's not how we're going to yeah. do this. Well, the Congress governs. The president is a part mm. of that. But the Congress governs. We need to make sure that working class people are taken. We have 8 million people that have fallen into poverty. I she agree. No, I'm, I'm with you. Businesses. We have to do more. We need to take care of everybody. I think, and I think, well, you and I agree on that. And I think a lot more people do as well. Um, Congressman, thank you so much.